In tonight's 12 on your side alert, a warning if you plan to buy anything online. Cyber experts and the FBI say crooks are using photo sharing programs to compromise computers. Two at six, Gray Hall explains why if there's no picture, picture attached to the item you're trying to buy, you may want to steer clear. Most of us have been to those online classified ads looking for that next great item. But if you do, the FBI says you need to use some caution, in particular if that ad says photos will be sent on request. Kevin Boyden with the Computer Doctor of Richmond says it's called a photo sharing scam. When you request that picture, crooks will usually send a malicious file. Once you know they've got you on the hook, they're sending you to a fake photo site where, yes, you'll see photos of whatever it is you think you're trying to buy, but it's something that they've set up that uh, possibly could be infecting you at that point. Boyd admits these criminals are good at convincing you that the scheme is legit. By the time most people realize they've been duped, the crooks have what they are after. They've not only stolen the, you know, couple hundred bucks or a couple thousand bucks that you just paid them, but they also now have your credit card information. The FBI says many times this deception happens when people are looking to buy a car online. Boyne says the safest option is to steer clear if the ad does not come with a picture or you can't see it before you buy it. Also, if the price is too good to be true, skip the ad and keep searching. If you are still tempted, make sure your antivirus is up to date and scan the files before you download them. Boy, nads, don't be so quick to give up your cash. Do your research. Craigslist does a good job of trying to alert their users as to common scams, such as don't, you know, don't fall for something that sounds too good to be true. And then they highlight these things very prominently. If you think you've been scammed or you have a consumer issue, you can email me, tweet me, or go to my Facebook page. On your side, Gray Hall, NBC 12 News.